Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. That'd help me out a lot. Okay, with in this video, I'm in, I'm going to uh, take this PlayStation 2 Fat apart, just the top, just the cover. I'm going to take it off. Um, being careful with the the ribbing cable for this switch right here. Well, basically what, what it is, is that I want to try or attempt is that this disc tray um, door here, it comes out kind of shaky. It does, it does come out and stay out. But uh, I know that I had one that, that I did not fix correctly because I didn't know and even try this, which is I want to shave basically want to kind of grind down the side the sides just a little bit because well, what happens is oh because uh, you know PlayStation 2's have a lot of faults but the plastic likes to warp over time and it causes this disc tray to not you know it wants it comes out and then it wants to go right back in well I'm I'm hoping that this will help people out there maybe this will be a fix for people that having this issue where, where you unscrewed the screws loosened them up to try and fix it to you know so that it will be even in here so it will come out and stay out and i'll show you this one somewhat works uh for the disc tray but it does have kind of a you know kind of like uh like it's rubbing a little bit and i will show you that what i'm talking about before we take it apart okay I will show you this way first see how it's grinding so what's happening is is this is being twisted um, and warped now if you shave a little bit off the sides is what I'm going to attempt today um, it should it should stop it and, it, and it's not because it's not uh, oiled right or anything like that or greased right. It's just uh, the plastics warped. So you'll see it. It works fine. It's just it just wobbles. Okay, now when you set it upright, this is what a lot of people like to do: set it upright so that um, you have more room. Okay, now let's open it up this way you hear that grinding and what's happening again is is that it's it doesn't have enough play enough room because like i said the plastic warps because like i said playstation 2 has a lot of faults they were uh sony playstation uh was sued where they had to take take a lot of the units back and fix a repair or give them a new one give everybody a new one because, uh, you know, uh, there was just too many faults. Like the laser would go out too quickly in these things. Uh, sometimes it was it was the circuit board. But they were sued. You see, it, it, it opens and closes. But like I said, when it opens, it grinds. It goes, Ugh. But I had another one that would immediately close right away. And this should fix uh, a lot of those problems. Um, I'm not electrician, you know, I'm not very good at uh, electronics or anything. I'm just an average person. But uh, so if you have one of these and if you want to try this, it's up to you. But I'm not responsible for any of it. I just, I just thought I'd, uh, it was an idea to try. And I'm sure there's other people out there that probably had a better way of, of doing it. But this is what i want to do in this video today so and show you see that that's just this is awful and it's grinding and stuff so i figured that um we will attempt this as a this little fix a little adjustment on there and see if it makes a difference i mean it either it, it might work or it might not we don't know let's try it so uh let's get it let's get it apart you're gonna need a phillips screwdriver and this one doesn't have the covers 
these little these little tabs that, that you push inside there like little feet this one uh, does not have that now sometimes you can you can loosen these these screws up and it might help too if you're having that problem with a disc tray won't even come out very well you can try try just loosening these uh up that can help too uh sometimes because like i said these plastic plastic cases that that go on this uh they like to warp and plus the plastic uh disc tray um likes to warp as well from the heat and over the years, these are these are very old. These PlayStation twos. Try to keep the screws where they need to go, in order. Some of them are long like this, and some of them are short, short screws. Which you will see as I take them out. Now, some some of the fats uh, have different types of screws or different types of uh, of um, how they open. Some some will open. Uh, it's kind of weird. Some they they have different revisions and stuff. So this this one here was is an easier one to get open, but uh, you'll see if uh, you ever run across if yours is different or not. But there are a total of two, four, six, eight screws that need to be taken off of this specific model. See, that one's a tiny one. So you want to make sure you put them where they belong. Now, um, when it comes to these right here, it's where the uh, where the button is, the power. There's a there is a uh, a ribbon. That kind of goes, can get caught right in here when you go to screw it on, and you can put the screw, put a screw hole right through that ribbon cable. Now, you don't want to do that. This this power supply or this power uh, switch controls the power. You have got to have this working, even if your power supply works. If you mess that ribbon cable up, you can't turn this on. So you have got to make sure that that ribbon cable does not get damaged whatsoever. You can see, small one. Just keep them in order and you won't have a problem with it. Like, for instance, you wouldn't want to put this one in here instead of this little guy. You've got to make sure you keep them where they belong. And then when the ribbon cable for the power, the power switch, it, it's, it's kind of fidgety and it can be kind of irritating to uh, put this back together. Which we, I will show you the best I can on that. Hopefully I don't have to pause it and get it ready and then unpause the videos. <laughs> because, you know, in a lot of videos you got to pause it sometimes to uh, take a break. Or you got to, um, uh, I wouldn't say you're editing it, but you're, uh, sometimes, you know, and, and when you take stuff apart, it just doesn't go right. And you don't want the video to, to run and run showing you frustrations on putting it back together or whatever so hopefully i won't have to pause it and and do that on this because i kind of want to show you the whole process here okay once that is done let me just put it back over okay and then see and again the ribbon cable is going to be right here it's going to go right right inside here so when you take it off you kind of got to do it in an angle because you kind of have to slide it the store here but it, oh most part you just kind of pull towards towards you just a little bit to relieve it and now there's not much room for the camera here but you will see what i'm talking about Let's see 
see the ribbon cable that goes to the power right here and you can't damage that and of course i already had this open and cleaned it because this was one of the repairs i did they put a new laser in it but um and basically what I'm going to do is, basically I'm just going to, let me lift this up. I'm going to just trim, kind of grind this down a little bit, just around the edges here. If my Dremel, my cheap Dremel will go in there. And basically it's just a little sand paper thing and all I'm gonna do do is like I said is I'm just gonna grind it a little bit and we're gonna go from there I've never done this before so we will see how how this goes so it might get a little noisy I'm gonna do it from the front kind of in the angle Take, take too much of it off because you end up damaging it too much. And let's take a look at the front and see if how bad I did a job on that. Okay. It does, does have a little damage, doesn't it? It does have a little damage. But I just wanted to grind it down. Now, you'll be able to do a better job. My lighting isn't the greatest, so I might have screwed that up a little bit. But, uh, but anyway, let's, let's put it back together and see what happens. I'm not going to put the screws in yet. Oh. I'm going to put the screws in yet. But you see... It did. You can see it a little bit here. I did. I did go a little too bad, too much for it on the edges there. I'm an amateur at it, but let's see what happens anyway. Like I said, this this is the first time I've done this, so you could mess up. But um, let's turn the power on and let's get this plug back in real quick. If you've done it more than once and you know how to judge it better, and you won't mess it up, but. There it is. I had to find, had to find it. But this might help help you fix fix the problem, or it might not. Like I said, we don't really know. I've never done it, but I think it's a good idea to try it. Um, let's let's start. Let's start out. Find out here. What I do. Uh oh. What did I do wrong? Well, I think I, I fixed it until I broke it. I think that's what I did.
Well, so far it's not going so good. <laughs> All right. Let me pause it and I'll get right back to you on the, uh, what I did wrong here. Okay, what happened was the ribbon ca cable came off inside here. So I have to take this apart. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you a little bit of how to do that. Uh, easy fix. Gone wrong. <laughs> it happens. It's, it's hard putting that ribbon cable back in when it comes off from here, inside here. Um, you got to take the main pieces off. Kind of get in there. I'll show you, show you how difficult it is. It's kind of hard to see it. But it's right there. What I'll do is I'll put the switch, take the switch out of the box. And we'll see if I can get it in there without having to take it apart anymore. Okay. It goes in like this. It's very difficult to get it to get it to go in there. It almost looks like uh, let's see if we can get it in there with here, let me just remove this. Basically, if you do this right, you can use tweezers. It doesn't it doesn't always work? But if you just yep, I think I got it. Now, you run this back up through here. But you got to be careful with it. Anyway, this is the bottom. This is the bottom part that should never have had to have gone that far just to do this little fix. But... Things happen when you mess with stuff. You end up having to do more than you want to. And getting it lined back up in there isn't always easy. Right for me. Okay. But see, this this here is very. Uh, you can really mess it up if you're not careful. And you see what I did? I I just took it apart just to do this little thing, this little fix, and and uh, look what it did. The ribbon cable came off. Kind of made it more of a hassle than it had to be.
but it happens. But uh, let's see where. Let's try this again. <laughs> let's turn it on first. Let's plug it in and see before I go any further. I think, uh, like I said, I think all that happened was the ribbon cable came off. Yep, there we go. We've got power. Oh, that was really even. All right, let's, let's just open it without putting the box on it yet. Just make sure everything works. You see how it slid out? You see how it slid out without any noise? Here, I'll show you it again. See that? No vibration or anything. So it's not this. It's the it's the case. It's the case that warps. So let's go ahead and put back together real quick here. It's, it's one of those trial and error things. And I think I might have shaved too much of it off. As you can see right here, I kind of went a little too, too much there. But uh, overall, it should cover it up when it closes. But, but like I said, just so you know not to make the mistake I made. Um... Uh, have better lighting because I didn't see it very well when I was doing it But uh, anyway, just grind a little bit of it off on the sides and and, and around there and uh, But let's get let's get this back together real quick. This is a pain To put back this is a pain to put back on here. It really is. And that's all twisted. Don't give you much room to mess with it. Okay, all right, I, I got it fixed. It was it was a pain to do that on video, but uh, all right, let's let's see what happens. It's a little better. It's not vibrating as bad. And let's see how bad it looks. And of course, you can see it. You can see it a little bit on this side. I went a little too far. It's just something to be aware of when you do this. To maybe do it on the inner inner side. It's just this switch was in the way. And of course, I didn't have enough lighting. But see, you can you could probably do a better job than I did with this. But you just trim away a little bit of the side. Um, and let's put it on its side. And let's see. See? It fixed it. Of course, I haven't tightened them up yet. Put the screws back, back in. But there you go. It worked. But I trim too much away, so it's something to be aware of if you're gonna if you're gonna do this fix. Um, is be a little more precise than I was. But let's put it back together. 
And remember, when you go to do this screw right here, that you do not hit. You do not hit that ribbon. And then there's a way you can tell by shining the light down here. Make sure you don't see any, any silver part through that hole. Wish you'd want a better flashlight than what I have, but make sure you don't see any silver because that's where the ribbon cable is. It's like right, it's very close. If you, if you don't put that in there correctly, you will, uh, this screw will go right through that ribbon cable. And then and your PlayStation 2 is dead at that point because that ribbon cable and the power switch is everything to this thing. Without it, you can't turn it on. You can't do anything. Okay, I got the screws back in. I just got to tighten down. And like I said, I can't stress it enough. Be very careful with this one, this one right here. This is that ribbon cable. But that switch is very tricky. That's why I had to do it off camera. It was, it was, the angle of it was really, it was really uh, uh, awful, awful angle. But like I said, these PlayStation 2s, you know, they, they come with the, uh, Come with issues that uh, is either either the laser goes out or one of the chips will go out in these or or that cable or the power supply will go out in them. Um, but I mean they they last. I mean I've tested this one. This one works. I like I said this was a repair. And of course, I messed up the case a little bit. So if I went to he went to sell this, I have to put that in there in the comments, you know, in the in the list, and you know that I did that to it. But there it is. There it is, right there. I kind of messed it up. But like I said, this could help fix your problem with the the dish tray. But when you do it. Like, if you were going to paint this, you could sand that a little better, you know, with some sandpaper. And you could repaint this, and it might be a lot better than it is. But I, I think what happened was, is I, I nicked this part here, the outer part. But you might want to go on the inner part when you go to do this fix. But um, that will fix the tray problem if you're willing to uh, do it. Um, but yeah, see, it looks, it looks kind of damaged now, but, uh, I think really it's right here up and down. It's the side part right here and the side part right here. You might not have to mess with the top or the bottom. It's basically right here and right here, but you'll probably do a better job than me. <laughs> But like I said, this is the first time I've done this, but uh, doing it on camera and the angles and you know, on the right lighting, um, you can easily mess up like I did. But this will fix your issue. And let's try it again. Let's plug it in. And like I said, sometimes, sometimes if you just loosen these screws, they um, it can help help reduce that. But remember, these these cases warp. This plastic warps, and that's why it does it. And that's why it does it. So let's let's test it out. Yeah, it's still vibrated a little because the case is a little tighter now, but it's way better than it was. See? Now you might be able to do. Uh, in, in a better angle that I did so you don't mess the outer part of it up but um, and now everybody likes it upright so let's let's try it upright yeah it's way better see that 
way better. So this this will fix it. This will fix the issue with your disc tray immediately going back in when it comes out. It's not the prettiest fix that I've done, but um, but there you go. So maybe that'll help some of you out there. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert at any, <laughs> at any of this stuff. I'm just, uh, you know, I have these ideas, you know, and, and I give them a go, you know. Um, you have to uh, take chances sometimes in life. You have to, you have to uh, try, you know, you have to make that effort to, if you, you know, you want to fix something yourself, just be careful depending on what it is, you know. But, um, you know, like I said, this is just my opinion. You know, you take my word for it or not. But I thought this would make a nice video because I, I promised that I, I wouldn't say promised, but I, I did mention that I would do a PlayStation 2 fix with a disc tray in, in my first few videos that I've done. Um, you know, messing with the NES uh, games and showing you the boards, whether they're authentic or not. And I wanted to do this. It's not the prettiest fix. As you can see, you can notice, you do notice it a little bit. It's not that bad. I mean, if I would have just, you know, if I would have had better lighting and, and maybe not have done it as much on the, you know, how I, I, I went this way, out to in. Maybe if you went in to out when you when you uh, sanded this down. And I think I sanded it a little too much off because I got pieces everywhere on the floor here. All you need is to do it just a little bit. Just a little bit on each side. Um, stop before I before you do this to it. <laughs> but it did fix it. Um, you know, I, I think it did a, a you know uh, a decent. Uh, it was a decent idea. You know, it was just it was just I messed it up. But like I said, this this is a learning thing, a learning video as well for those who want to fix this. Um, you know, uh, you can loosen the screws where this where this is hooked in. The, you know the, where this goes up and down inside you can loosen those sometimes that'll help a little bit but this one this one wasn't um you know like that you had to do something like this to fix it um it would just get it would have just got worse over time if if uh it didn't you know the unit didn't burn out um over time it would warp some more they this is how these these playstation 2s uh were you know they they they'd uh they would just go out without warning they would just go they would they would just go out without warning i mean it was nice you could play playstation ones and playstation twos on these um but they had too many they had a lot of flaws these playstation twos uh then they they come out with the slims to kind of fix the problems that were that were uh that were with these but a lot of people who repair them have ish have a lot of issues with the slims too um but the the lasers getting harder to find if you wanted to replace the lasers in these the lasers are getting really hard to find because of the the unbranded kind the 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 backlog of uh, or the, the overstock that they had all those years ago or now everybody's bought them out you know, all the, all the lasers are pretty much being bought out to fix these so they could resell them, you know, repair these. And they don't make them anymore. Um, the aftermarket lasers is what you get now. Um, but, uh, you know, I've had issues repairing these with uh, the aftermarket lasers. Uh, some of them wouldn't work. Uh, they're faulty, you know. Some of the lasers, when you buy them, they don't always work. And then you have to adjust the... Uh, the power on each of the lasers a lot of people say not to just to desolder it and just put them in as is but you'll burn out the lasers a lot quicker if you don't if you don't adjust them 
Um, but that's just my experience. Now, other people, you know, they repair these. They might know. They might know more than I do. Um, you know, they do it all the time. But um, that's my experience of the little experience that I have with these. Uh, the lasers have to be adjusted, and and a lot of them don't work. You know, you buy you buy lasers and they just you don't even if you don't adjust the, the power supply that goes to each of the uh, the lasers is uh, you know one one of the screws is for to adjust the power is for the CD and the other one is for the DVD and they don't always um, even if you don't adjust them and you just desolder that little static solder ball that's on the laser it tells you to, to do that before you put them in and and so even if you do you have to adjust the, uh, the height and everything of the laser it's very it's very uh, it's a headache it's a, it's a it's a headache but let's say that you do and you put it in there and you don't adjust it there's a chance that the laser won't even work you know um, it's it's really a gamble when you buy these lasers so um, but, well, there you go. It's, it, uh, this is a, a fix or, you know, to relieve the pressure on each side of this so that it will stay out. Like I said, some of them will come out or vibrate like it was on this one. And then they'll go right back in. This tray will go right back in. And this will fix that. As you, as you could see in, in the video that it, that it doesn't vibrate as much. It's smoother. Um. Now, you might only have to do the one side. You might not have to do both sides. It might just be this side that you have to, to adjust. But this is giving you an idea. This video uh, hopefully helped every, everybody out um, that has issues with this. If you're willing to chance messing this up a little bit, um, you can fix fix your little problem with it not staying out when, when it goes... Um, you know, that's that there was very annoying for a lot of a lot of the systems, you know, was is that um, you try to put the disc in and you had to hurry up because it wanted to it wanted to go right back in there. You know, like you're trying to put the disc in as fast as you can. Um, because if you grab it and try to hold try to hold on to this and then put the disc in while it's trying. When it's going back in, you can break the motor and the rubber band that's on the gears. And you can mess it up by, you know, trying to fight this this little, uh, this tray that's that's going against you. It's going back in as fast as possible. It's like, hold on, let me put the disc in first. But, uh, well, there you go. That's, that's how you do it. And uh, just, um, like I said, be very, very careful. And don't mess up like I did right there. But it, it relieved the pressure of it. And it, it, it opens and closes a lot better. And um, overall, it's a learning experience for all of us. Who, any, anybody, everybody who watches my video uh, of this might have learned something. What to do, not to do. But I did say when, in the previous videos when I was going to do this. I said, well, see if I can fix it. See if I mess it up or not. So... So now you all know that what to what you need to do, but without going too far like I did with the grinding. But uh, you know, if you want you want it to work again, you might have to do something like this. So there you go. I know this video is kind of long, but uh, even I learned something doing this. Um, but you know, because of this, this is here, it kind of covers some of it up. I mean, but you know, but I, I did nick it too much. You know, I, I should have probably, uh, you know, not been so quick about it. I was, you see in the video, you know, how, how I did it. So just don't do it as much as I did and you'll, you'll still fix it. Just do a little at a time. That's what I was gonna do. I was, was making the effort to do, but I, I kind of, I kind of kept going. 
I knew I was doing something wrong when I saw a bunch of chunks come off of little pieces of plastic come off of this uh, and laying on laying on the floor here. I was like, oh, I might have went too far with that. But um, I hope uh, hope you learned something today, what to do, not to do, and hopefully it fix it'll fix some of your uh, PlayStation Twos if that has this disc tray issue of uh, always wanting to go back in too quickly. If uh, loosening the screws did not help, this will help fix it. Um, if you're willing to take a chance, I took a chance. Not only to to show you how you know how that works, um, you got to take a chance sometimes. Uh, you know, you just have to. You know, you have to make that. Uh, you know, you have to go out and, and, and make that choice to uh, to risk it sometimes. But other than that, uh, it worked. So all of you out there, um, I know I'm kind of repeating this. The video's kind of getting long now. But, um, but I wanted to make this video and to show everybody what to do and not to do. So, uh... Thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you uh, get your PlayStation 2 working better and, and, and not, not to make the same mistake I did going too far with that. So uh, please, please like and subscribe. Please donate if you can um, to my PayPal on my channel. Um, I have an eBay uh, thinking about selling this, and I will put in, in the listing that I adjusted this so that it would work better and I kind of went and messed it up. I'm honest. I'm an honest eBay seller. So, um, if you would like to come over there and, and, uh, support me by buying something, I would really appreciate it. Um, thank you for, uh, watching and I, I hope you enjoyed the video to the next video. Bye.